17 News is your local election headquarters. As KGET continues to host candidates' debates ahead of the November 5th election, the six candidates running to represent Kern's second district supervisorial seat joined us tonight. Here's 17's Jenny Hug with a recap of the debate. The Kern County Supervisors District 2 debate. The crowded debate stage, a reflection of the packed candidate field in the race to replace former Supervisor Zach Scrivener in Kern County 2nd District. And with no primary in this race, each vote will carry a significant weight. This because Scrivener resigned midterm, adding the race last minute to the November general election ballot. The winner will serve a partial term until 2026 instead of the full four-year term. Candidates agreeing that as vast a district, District 2 is geographically, the range of issues too is wide. But the overall sentiment, District 2 is, as some candidates say, Kern's redheaded stepchild. So this board member who was there formerly did not attend to the constituents. The candidates beginning by discussing former Supervisor Scrivener, then focusing on oil and gas. To get all the oil companies to move to clean energy. If we get them to move to clean energy, jobs are saved. And my fellow candidates, as well as most politicians across Kern County, have described the governor's relationship with oil in Kern County as abusive. Um, one thing that we shouldn't be doing is cutting down forests across the county, especially across the desert, for energy projects, for solar projects. <laughs> specifically. Some proposing retention of the oil and gas industry despite state goals to end all oil extraction by 2045. When we can revitalize the oil and gas industry, we can start minimizing, even dissolving the Measure K tax. We got a higher share of deputies. We got a higher firefighters. We have vacancies. And a key thing too is retention. A push for more local governance. Power to make decisions locally, especially when it comes to oil. You know, and, and granted, it's um, we would be moving away from state laws. And a boost in public safety response times. Uh, when I was on the council, I was responsible for bringing on 100 new police officers, really stopped the bleeding of police officers in Bakersfield leaving to other agencies. But one thing is really important is our detention deputies. If we don't have them, nobody's going to stay in jail. And despite the Board of Supervisors technically being a nonpartisan office, candidates touching on their political affiliations. District 2, this is your chance to break free of partisan interests and political dynasties. I represent none of that. I'm an independent, no party preference candidate. You can find the hour long debate on our website, kget.com. You can also find an extensive profile of all six candidates on our website. Jenny Ha, 17 News.